Welcome to my channel, Outspoken Samantha. If you are new here, welcome. I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button. And if you're returning, welcome back. I truly do appreciate your continued support on my channel, and I hope that you are subscribed as well. I grew up in the 80s and 90s when Madonna was essentially the Taylor Swift of the era. Um, I, for one, have never been a huge fan of Madonna, much like I'm not a huge fan of Taylor Swift. However, I can appreciate that they, you know, that they are both massive worldwide stars with a global audience and are household names pretty much everywhere in the world. And I know that Madonna was beautiful in her day, and I mean... I would say that she's beautiful now, but I think that we have a little bit to talk about there, but she has maintained her beauty for the last several decades, and I know that she's always been known for pushing the envelope and breaking expectations and just being the kind of artist that she wants to be. And maybe there's more to it than that, but as someone who has never been a huge fan, I really honestly don't know that much about her other than the image that I have seen her in or, you know, just the just the way that she has painted herself as publicly as possible. Anything deeper than that, I, I really have no clue. And I will have to say that I personally have viewed her image as questionable for pretty much the entire 30 plus years that I've known who she is. What's unfortunate now is that she seems to be struggling more than most because most women seem to struggle with getting older, but she seems to be taking it to a whole other level where she's having a really hard time getting older. And it's not like someone who is getting just getting Botox and fillers and having some work done to try and maintain this more youthful appearance, though it's arguable if any of those things actually help maintain a youthful appearance, but rather just make older women look like they're trying to look young. But she seems to be taking the denial of getting older to just an extreme. This image on the left from 2012 was only like 12 years ago, and you can tell she's probably had some work done. She probably would have been about 50, 52 years old, but you can't tell me that this whole image here that she has progressed into is about looking younger and maintaining this youthful glow. It's weird. And not only that, she seems to think that she can hang like she's in her 20s. Remember when she got sick a few months ago? It says that Madonna had been rehearsing nonstop for her celebration tour, which had been envisioned as a way to honor her 40-year career and was set to kick off in Vancouver on July 15th, the performer had been had more than 80 dates scheduled on the world tour, including six nights each in New York and Los Angeles and London. All those plans are now up in the air as a result of her hospitalization. It turns out that Madonna uh, may have had a low-level illness through the last month of planning. TMZ recently reported that the 64-year-old was dealing with a fever for more than a month leading up to her hospitalization, but she kept it a secret. And a lot of people were talking about this at that time, and it seemed like she was really trying to push herself to keep up with these younger stars, to keep up with people that have an audience like Taylor Swift and Ariana Grande and whoever the big singers are now, because I have absolutely no idea. But it's like she pushes herself so hard, thinking that if she just keeps going, that all of these things are going to stay in place, that nothing is going to change, that her career isn't going to change, and that she doesn't have to change. But unfortunately, something that we all have to accept is that it's just not realistic. You cannot pretend that you are 25 when you are 65. I'm not even close to 65, and I guarantee you, I cannot pretend that I am 25. Every time I try, my body reminds me it's just not happening. Given the day and age that we live in, if we object to any of this, if we have any questions about the things that a 65-year-old woman is doing, or that anybody is doing, really, but Madonna specifically, it's not because we have concerns about her performance, about her abilities, about her health. It's because of ageism and misogyny. Because the answer to everything these days, if someone ob objects to what you're doing, it's because they hate you or they can't handle you getting older or they want you to held back by a world controlled by men. According to this article in the Independent uh, UK, it says Madonna is being defended from ageist trolls after a video showing the singer performing while holding a beam for support surfaced online. Earlier this week, a clip from the Like a Prayer Singer celebration 
tour was shared on TikTok, showing the star, 65, dancing energetically while holding a pole positioned behind her. Many trolls then proceeded to incorrectly conflate Madonna's decision to hold the rail for support with her age and sent her messages of vitriol online. I'm glad to see that Madonna has a, has a grab bar so she doesn't fall, one person wrote with another adding. 65-year-old Madonna has to use a bar to dance on stage to prop herself up as she performs a dance routine. However, it has since been revealed that during this particular segment of the show, Madonna is dancing while standing on a moving platform, meaning she is holding the pole for her safety. Dumb ageist got jokes, but failed to mention the fact that she's dancing on a moving platform, one social media user pointed out, with another stating a lot of ages beep, about Madonna today saying she needed a grab rail for dancing in her latest show. She is on a thin platform that is moving across the top of the audience. Of course, there's a bar. She's also clipped onto it. Guys, whether or not she's holding onto a bar is the least of our problems here. <music> We can't possibly be asking any questions about this unless it comes from a place of ageism or hate for Madonna or just wanting her to be miserable or to disappear from existence. It couldn't be that maybe we're actually wondering if Madonna is, if she has a healthy connection to reality and if she is capable of accepting herself at all. Because we seem to live in a world where it is virtually impossible to accept yourself as a man, as a woman, as a child, as a teenager, as someone who's white or black or someone who's getting older. And in your brain, if you simply want something, if you want to be something that you're not, then no one al is allowed to say anything against it. And this mindset has genuinely created the most dysphoric society that we've ever lived in. We can't accept our bodies, our race, our sex, our age, our heritage, or our culture. Nothing, everything, especially the things that we can't change, are being used against us. So we have people who look in the mirror and hate themselves for these these characteristics that they cannot change, which is the opposite of self-love and acceptance. I don't care if Madonna is getting older, and just because she is doesn't mean that I expect her to sit in a rocking chair knitting sweaters, because I don't plan to do that the elder part of my life either. And I get it. Getting older can be really hard because usually you don't feel as old as you are. Mentally, you still feel alert and sharp, but physically, your body's like, nope. And I'm not against skin treatments and anti-aging product products and procedures. I personally like to get a little Botox when I can afford it, and I do try to take care of my skin. But this is a total denial of the stage of life that she is in, and she is not aging gracefully. And it seems as though despite being in an age of this self-acceptance and self-love where women should feel comfortable in our own skin and accept aging as a natural process of life, and we should be backing off in what we expect women to look like forever, the standards actually only seem to get more and more extreme and difficult to keep up with. Curiouser and curiouser. And where we should be able to express ourselves in a mature and classy way, it's almost like we're not allowed to do that. Because there, there's no maturity or demonstration of healthy life experiences here. This is a nightmare. But clearly, this is what she feels like she has to do to try to stay relevant. She can't get older. And even in a New York Times article from 2016, which I can't open because it's behind a paywall and I don't feel like paying for it right now, but she did say herself that aging in Hollywood is a sin. And that doesn't sound to me like someone who is just being who she wants to be. She's fighting to stay at the top of the game and compete with artists that are like half her age and she doesn't need to. So I do have to question, people that don't allow us to comment, comment on this and encourage Madonna to make healthier choices, who is the one that is actually supporting her? The people that insist that it's okay to keep doing these things and pretend that she's 20? Or those of us who would like to see a healthy acceptance of the age that she is and become an artist shows that she accepts this natural process and this natural stage of life.
she can absolutely still be a singer and still be an artist and still be unique and still have these these moments these wow moments in her career but it's okay to do it in a way where she's not trying to be the the artist that she was in the 80s and the 90s she would still be popular if she found ways to adapt and infuse maturity and class into her performances people would go right along with her but what she's doing now is just scary and if you tell her that she doesn't have to listen to anyone who disagrees because they because they see, simply can't handle a woman getting older, then you're the one that is fueling this disconnected, delusional, unhealthy mental state that she's in right now. Not me. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on this in the comments below. Please like this video. It does help me in the algorithm. My goal is to get to 10,000 subscribers by my birthday, which is in two months. So please help me get there. Subscribe to my channel. And if you guys ever have subjects that you would like me to talk about, please feel free to email them to me. My email is in the description box below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.